so this is how you do it for each page in in book list every time you have to uh, check this but very difficult right i need to add next one again set again i have to use this again i have to copy again i have to do these all things right uh, how many things are there if there are 10 pages 10 columns then how many times you have to write 10 call 10 times you have to write then we'll go for something called as append it so when you use append to so what is happening append to append to okay let me delete this so whenever you use append to so that will expect here also a page this is page list that's good but source it will expect as page list so only page single page but uh, is our source is a single page got it what i'm saying no right selected books instead of new page we'll write each page in then uh pyv work page dot book details right i think this is all not required now so what is it append it to it's a page list of pyv work page dot selected books for each page in dot py work page dot book details book details so when there is a rule here there is a condition out here when when dot select is equal to true okay simply we have written this now what i do is i'll just create a class let's check whether this is working properly so if we go back to the preservation then let's see the clipboard of this there is no need of going there also we can see from parent child also because parent class will be there in py work cover right parent class will be under py work cover page from there also you can see can you see now again same things came that came up but here the, you didn't write 1.1 1.1.2 1.1.3 1.1 and all those things directly it has given you the data right how it is possible because the data transform which in which you have seen you used what you used append to and append to from a page list to another from a uh, means the source is from a page list and you copied into another page list any doubts here so what does append to will be doing append to will be copying the page list properties to another page list properties if it is page list property then in the relation you have to mention each page in okay each page in and you do have you have to do it and there will be a condition you can select that condition so that with that it will be there it will be completed this is appended to you have something called as append and map to also then what is that doing append to is also doing the same thing append and map to will also be doing the same thing then why this fellow has given two append to and append map to okay why they have given this
let me delete this yeah up and then map to basically up and then map to uh can i mean what is the difference between up and map to and up and uh, is both are same actually they do the same thing but up and map to can map the uh properties which are of different classes mm. also different classes also okay what do you mean by that means selected books is referring which proper which class books class all books class only right book details is also referring which class it is also called differing referring the same uh, data uh, same books class only okay but using this up and end map to the source or the target might be from different classes also understood what i was saying yep. so that's the reason why mm -hmm. you got this set option because in selected books you may not have the same properties right same properties may not be there so you have to copy those properties now. i mean you have to come uh, more show those properties that is append and mapped but uh, is there any i mean uh, are they doing any different things no both are doing the same thing okay but extra thing which append and map to will do is it can also it can also copy the data uh, the copy the classes uh, which are I means copy the uh, data of a page property which is referring different to class for example i'll go to data type here here it is books right so let me add another one add book add data type books i'll say references maybe references is also books okay all right so here i'll have only two things let me add only two properties ref id ref name uh Author. yeah now what i do is i'll go to this app explorer and in this book reservation i'll call i'll create a property uh reference details which is calling which is again a pages property which is calling references okay let me go back to the this one so up and end map to here instead of py work page i'll use reference details and here can you see what are the things it is showing here which are coming from references and here what are coming from here it is coming from books sorry this is say this is what this is up and end map and let me delete this now and just go for append to so i'll refer reference details here from an existing page each page in each page in your page dot book details and you see the target and source field should be compatible what do you mean by that the target and source are not from the same class same class same hierarchy no right it's not the same one right they are different mm -hmm. sorry here these are these two are different that's why the reason you are finding okay let me write right so what i do now i'll take book details no no error right okay so both are book details select me right selected books 
nothing is happening and next go for reference details got an error why because both are not of same these are of not same so there might be a requirement where you have to copy uh, the data from one page property which is referring another data class to a, another page property which is referring again a different uh, uh, data class okay reference page definitions are both different in that time better you use what append and map to right so in append and map to now you see there is no error when gone and why it is showing set because both in the both the this as these both are referring different data classes it doesn't uh, mean that both will have same property names yes or no don't the both will not have same properties same uh, property names like for example here it is reference author uh, or if i say here author is same but coming to reference id this is here reference id and if it here it is not reference id it is book id so you know both are not same that's the reason why they will ask they will show you this 1.1 means they give extra one but coming to append append is for the same class copy okay understood the difference now simple right one step right right one step i mean there is a telugu uh, <laughs> dialogue famous dialogue <laughs> don't kill so many times it's only one step for a sec that's <laughs> <laughs> all right so only one step that's that so now your data is now properly uh, copied into one selected books detail but you want to show that to the user that these are the uh, this is the these are the books which you have selected so that means what you need to again create a form or not for him for this form that is let's create a step here you can either create a step or you can create a flow action then you create a section so many things you can do we will do the uh, step that will be very easy for us get membership uh, book reservation data model why I'm going for all this because I need to I want this selected books to be shown on your shown on your case life cycle. So let me check whether it is marked as relevant record or not. This is not marked as relevant record. What happens if it is not marked as relevant record? What happens means it will not show to you in your case life cycle. So you're waiting out here uh, then click a step over here um, or else. Uh, yeah, that's fine more not more not more click a step collect details so choose the slot mm, selected book details configure view so you already have a property what is that selected books but if you see over here that selected books is not shown to you so then what you have to do you have to go to this go to action click on mark as a relevant record then come back over here and see your fields you'll see selected books now just simply copy out here do you want to make it as optional no you want to make it as read only author read only this read only book name read only book type read only publication read only you do not want to show this select option why do you want to select why do you want to select that again right you don't want right only you want to know the details of the books so you can just delete that so yeah so now i just want to change this to here so i do not want to go to that get membership right now i'll just go to save and run click on create children so i select this so b3 b5 i selected submit can you see two three you got first one as what first one as empty <clears throat> okay that you can remove it 
so how to remove that go to app explorer you got it right now you got these two things yes you are asking this right how to show it on the screen that's it you just you just simply call the property automatically those data will come so next is uh, why this first step is coming because it would be there why i'm going to yeah right. so go to slot selected book tickets <clears throat> okay go to check out this um you can write a condition over here to not to show the empty ones hello column sorting and uh, click row to editor none dot author not equal submit save Okay. Um, so row visibility, what I did is I do not want to show that author. 